What is going on, everyone? And welcome to another special episode. We're going to be doing an hour at Jade Starlight Forest today. Uh, hopefully going for more embers or the straight drop. That would be nice. And um, yeah, so see how it goes. In case you guys are wondering, I don't even know what the best spot is. I just kind of grind. So yeah, let me go before I pop any buffs. Let me just check. So there's like 10 different rotations here. I don't even know which one is good ones. I just kind of do them. So the one I do is like roughly over here. And I just go between these packs and yeah, it's nighttime. It's a little bit more dangerous to be honest, but ultimately, yeah, I don't even know if you need the stuff here. But anyway, usually I just go through these packs. I feel like, honestly, Succession here might be actually a little bit better than Awakening. Just because things kind of are tanky. But the ultimate goal for this is really just kill the smaller one. Oh my god, why are they so angry? So I just go between these three packs at the bottom. So in case you're new, have no idea how to grind a spot. Basically, there's a totem or some sort of like brazier, and that'll do will cause some effect to the enemies, and that weakens them a little bit. But aside from that, um, just focus on the small ones because those kind of like explode and do more damage to the big ones. When you see a blue text like that, that means like I guess you could say the elite ones possessed. Those are the ones that have a higher drop rate for the embers, which is what you kind of want. Also, at nighttime, these kind of hurt and it's kind of scary. Oh, yeah, I called uh, buffs for my guild. So after this pack, I'll pop it. This one in very particular just kind of hurts. All right, let's go. So yeah, these are the three packs I do. Is it good? I have no idea. I just kind of do these. I should also try it again one day in uh, succession. Man, I thought I got the flame in just like two minutes. <laughs> we got another one of these. You know, I'll take artifacts, though. They are... At least, like, 30, 40 mil if I sell them. That covers the... Tent buff that I pay for. I could pull them to the jade lamp. That'd be good. From what I've heard, you can get the flame from the non elite mobs or the possessed ones. But it's like a higher chance for the bigger ones and the possessed ones. So basically just don't leave any behind and you're good. But I actually I enjoy this spot, not because it's good, but it's because it's really simple. It's like three packs. One, two, and three. Just really a dumbed down grind spot, which uh, sometimes I just like to turn off my brain and grind. Whereas it's a lot less of a loop and you just kind of do whatever you want. The 
The music is also pretty solid here. I kind of hate fighting these big ones, though. <laughs> they take so long. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll... I do get, like... I don't actually know how much trash lead I get an hour. I don't keep track. The only thing that matters here is, like, the number of embers you get an hour. Oh my god, dude, that chunks my... Oh my... Stop. Sometimes I legitimately think that frenzies are not the greatest option here. You're better off using, like, uh, giants or something. I'm actually kind of <laughs> sad. I uh, cheered earlier, and I thought it was actually going to be a flame. I feel like I should get artifacts for everything these days. They should make a new tab just for artifacts. Like, if you want to grind, life skill, PvP, instead of taking up your normal inventory. Don't get caught by the three of them because uh, they could chunk you as well. It's less dangerous. But... I think one thing that would make Dark Knights like on a more uh, balanced playing field compared to the rest is if we had shorter cooldowns. The damage itself is fine, but like some classes just have permanent guard where we don't so I don't know if you guys watch a lot of other streamers and YouTubers grind, but this is like the best spot that everyone's at, and so am I. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not a lot of money, but let's be honest, you're not here for the money. You're here for the uh, embers. And I actually, I don't mind the Murrowak, the Sherikin Iron Mine spot. It's not bad either. It's just, uh, that one's just like an hour of mindless stuff. Whereas this one, I don't know, you don't have to be in an instance. Also, this place for XP is kind of bad, so <laughs> you're not here for that either.
Totem. I'm not actually sure what that totem does. Just, like, armor debuffs them. What do you guys think? Are we going to get like one ember today? That would be nice. I think I average one ember every like two hours, which does not feel great, actually. Once, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Once I get to flame, like I'm out. I don't think I'll ever be here again. Which is really sad. It's like, I enjoy this area. It's just the drop rates of everything is not so great. Even if the XP was better, I think I'd actually stay here. that big keeper one cc's kind of hurt especially at night time can't tell if I'm just getting unlucky with the elite spawns, if this is normal. would stay still honestly that makes it even worse i'm just trying to get them to group up Alright, our goal is one ember this hour. <laughs> That's so bad. I think someone described it as if you grind, you know, turros, right? It's like doing turros, but without the elite boss that spawns. So. You don't get as many of the embers per hour. Yeah, I think 
legit succession would be so much better since I don't have to like move backwards as much. And uh, I actually do more damage in uh, main or succession anyway because I have a pen black star main hand but not awakening. But yeah, overall in here in Jade Forest is like 10 different grind spots. So it is a good chance you'll get some sort of uh, spot if you just know what they all are, more or less. But yeah, I do wish the cooldowns for Dark Knight abilities were a little bit shorter. Okay. I think I could pull them to the lamp down there, but I don't actually know how far they follow. You know it'd be a nice gift? Just a straight flame drop. From what I've heard, it takes about like 40 to 50 hours to get the flame, assuming you know what you're doing. But, uh, when I'm getting one ember every two hours, it sure does not feel like that. Still like a strike crystal as well for my or light stone. But I've had an order on that since like day one, and that one's pretty rare apparently. Can't wait for nighttime to be over. When I see a big one, you, I mostly just kind of focus the smaller ones because they explode and we'll probably get the bigger one. But when I see combos like this, it's not great.
I'm gonna be honest. I don't really even notice a difference in uh So I have a Tet Blackstar offhand now I don't really notice a difference <laughs> To be honest, I still don't actually know what all the materials are. I know it just tells you on the tooltip, but I don't think I've collected all of them. I might have, I have no idea. Knocks them down. I suppose that does make down attacks a lot easier. the music it just kind of stopped feels bad I would like one flame, please. We haven't actually gotten any possessed ones in a while. I have no idea if it's like caused or triggered by something to possessed ones or just uh, RNG. One day it'll be like flame of frost. There's probably another spot that's a little more optimized, but I'm not sure. Like, uh, another path downwards. Actually, we'll check it out afterwards and see what's up.
you know what kind of sucks you know how in other rpg games if you like they use a indicator of red as bad and in this game they use like light blue which literally blends in with the environment so i'm just like well we got an ember boys let's go That was from a regular one, right? Yeah, that was never from a regular. Okay. Ooh, almost just ate that one. This is why it's dangerous grinding at nighttime, to be honest. Should just pop another caulk. There's another pole, isn't there? Down there. Hmm. But anyway, we got an elite. I don't know. That's kind of far out. It's not like not that bad, but no, I'd rather just do my normal three that I know. Capra stones. This is kind of scary. Got a debuff, though. I heard the ember rate is higher for these big ones in particular. I hope so. Like, it makes sense. Tanky. Out of my shield. So we got one ember in thirty minutes. <laughs> you know it's bad when that actually looks pretty nice for. <laughs> A grind. I'm convinced I'm going to be one of those people that goes full 100 embers. Can't get an RNG drop. Dang it. 
Why has he got to be the big boy? Okay, so you can pull it to the brazier. Good to know. <laughs> Chunks a lot of it. 377 DP. I really just need to get the small ones to explode. Totem, and then the small ones. Ah, big boy. Uh, I think we can pull him up here. Uh, did I get him? A lot of bad. He does his uh, AOE thing. I think I might actually just have to get out of that. One full flame, please. Oh, it's almost daytime. It won't hit as hard. lamp wow. 
Pull them to this jade lamp. These grind spots really favor <laughs> melee classes more than uh, stuff where my camera angles get wonky. One ember, please. I wish they wouldn't teleport. How do they do that? Why did it take so long to get here? Okay, they got debuffed now. music just starts actually really good though I wonder what the rate of getting a straight flame from a regular one is compared to uh, possessed. Trash loot here is worth a little bit more than that, uh, orcs, but you get a little bit less than that orcs. Hello? You just stand next to this lamp real quick. took some chip damage off of that AoE and it wasn't even showing the God I hate these big ones. 
Woo! Ember! Dang, I didn't even know I could get so happy over, like, 5 mil drop. <laughs> Though, honestly, I think, believe it or not, you actually might get more at uh, Shuriken Iron Mine, despite what people say. But RNG, obviously. We're learning, boys. We're doing double pulls. Okay, so we got two embers so far in 43 minutes. That's uh, kind of good, actually. But anyway, I, we got one from the big possessed, and we got one from, I think it's just a regular. Over here. Oh my god. Capris. Pretty good. Can we get greedy and see if we can get three embers this hour? Teleported. <sighs> no, it was lying. <laughs> Big boy.
Okay, come over here. You too. This is the one we got the ember from last time. So here's hoping for the best. Hope. This is actually one of the unluckier pulls. There's no minis. It's not nighttime. Ember. I would consider this a very good hour. We got three and one. Ten minutes left on the grind. Honestly, in terms of like low grind it feels like grinding for the infinite pot that's it's not the worst but at least you make money here compared to infinite pot i remember going full 100 at the shira ruins and blood wolves not pretty i think i lost money overall for the health pot but worth it Maybe I'll get S knowledge on the keeper one day. That would be nice.
Oh my god, of course, people. All these spots, and you choose this one. Dear god. I remember on day one, this spot, everyone was grinding it. You're basically permaflex. <laughs> Nowadays, it's not as bad, but it's still pretty uh, contested, but not as bad. over here to the jade lamp. Oh, I don't even think those got debuffed. Do I want to do another hour after this? I don't know. I like this grind spot, but man. Big boy, can we get Ember number four? Got like four minutes left. wonder what the rates are to get embers like less than five percent i think people estimated the murrowack one where you trade in the boxes at the end to be like one in five or 
20%. Which actually seems pretty good. Why do you... Oh my god. I wish they would just charge me instead of moving backwards. go until uh my loot buff runs out this drop rate one Now that my loot buff is almost out, it would be so funny if I just got the straight flame. Alright, after this pack, uh, we'll total up our numbers. This is a good place to burn all my uh, loot scrolls that we get. But with that said, we have got a little bit under 12,000 trash loot, which is it's probably like 220 mil or something. And then some black stones. We got three. What's that? Think, yeah, three embers today. That's pretty. Or three embers in one hour. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't really count like the capper stones and these weird imperfect light stones. But with that said, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to head out for a little bit. I'll see you guys later.